Google Docs is a very popular app used for creating and storing documents. The first feature that you can imagine will be creating, storing, deleting and reading documents. So as engineers, you can think of the CRUD model here again, create, read, update and delete. The second feature that is very common in Google Docs is to actually share your documents. So for sharing, you need sharing permissions. This includes reading and writing or rather reading and editing for a Google Doc. You can also share the link of a doc, which means that anybody with the link can either read or edit. The other thing that you can do with a Google Doc is export it as a PDF or something. That's a very common feature because we are assuming that we can convert any of the Google Docs that we have in our database to a PDF. We are not going to be considering that feature. So that's like feature number three, but not considered here. After a document is shared, we usually get a notification by email or even on the app that this document has been shared with you. So you need some sort of a notification manager, but I'll say just notifications through email is what we are concerned with. The other thing about Google Docs is that you can store a document and go through its version history. So you can look at what the document looked like two days ago, one day ago, maybe a few hours ago also. So you have different versions of the document and you need to actually store these also. So you're not really storing just the documents, you're storing a version history. In fact, along with this, you have something called a diff checker. So if you have two versions, you should be able to check the diff. Let's see whether we'll get to that, but I'm just noting everything down. So point number five is spell checking. When you're writing on a Google Doc, you need some sort of a spell checker, which tells you whether this is a correct word or not. We'll be taking a particular algorithm on spell checking and we'll be discussing that in detail here. Sixth thing would be comment support. So if you have multiple collaborators on Google Doc, you have shared the document with a lot of people, they can read it and possibly suggest edits or they can you know, directly comment on the document saying that this is what I feel about it. And the last point is offline support. So people should be able to work on the Google Doc for a couple of days without any online support. Maybe you're gone on a vacation and you're writing a story or something. In that case, when you're back online, you'll be sending your changes in bulk and we need to be able to support that. So we have seven features with us. I think this is good enough because uh, the core of a Google Docs question, actually, when you're asked this in a system design interview is a storage because a lot of documents are being stored. Point number two is actually really, really important. We will take this as a core problem that multiple people should be able to read the document, should be able to change things and people around the world should also be able to see those changes being reflected in real time. Notifications by email. Yeah, this is not really a core feature, but we can talk about this at a high level. The version history thing, this is again quite important, but uh, as we as we go along and solve the engineering problems, this should be solved by itself. So I'll keep this on the second side. The spell checker is interesting. We'll be talking about this in some detail, but in a system design question, usually as an engineer, you're more concerned on what does a spell checker need than how do you actually make it? So what are the inputs that you need into a black box, which is a spell checker, than actually implementing it? Comment support again is important, but if comments was the most important thing in a Google Doc, then you know if, if the interviewer or if the problem that we are trying to solve is comment support, we would much rather ask something like design me Instagram or design me a Facebook news feed than rather talk about Google Docs. So this is also not a very core feature according to me. Uh, and finally, offline support is something that should be taken care of. So version history and offline support is something that should be taken care of in the original problem itself. So these are the two core problems that we have. And they're screaming one thing, which is collaboration. So as we'll see, collaboration is a challenge when you have a distributed environment. So that's a distributed system. And the reason for that is because either the operations are sort of concurrent. Uh, I don't mean concurrency in the same system. I mean that two people are doing operations without being aware of each other. Uh, and that, that operation has to be, that conflict has to be resolved. So one is concurrency 
like we said in a slightly different meaning. So in a distributed system, concurrent operations. have to be supported and the other thing is that data consistency is a problem why so because well you have multiple copies of data if you are going to give multi-region support let's say some people are in India some people are in the US and you have a document being shared amongst them so you're going to be caching the document in India in the US and also you're going to be having multiple copies all around the world so how do you make them all have some sort of data consistency. If you're going for strong consistency, there's some problems. If you're going for a weak consistency, what are you going to choose? So these two are the main problems, the core problems that we'll be looking into while targeting Google Docs. Let's see how we can solve this.